All right, so if you're really having problems with the bed, what I did do is take this bed boy completely apart and put it back together before it even got close to level. So we all know that under there, under there, my phone get a good shot of it. See them nuts? They have a little notch in them. And the really, the only important part of it, that little notch right there, in my opinion, is that they face about the same about the same way so like that one is facing about the same as this one and then at that point you're fine but if you have a bed that's like egregiously out of level there's a chance that under here right see those wheels right there let's see if i can get it to focus there's a chance that you undo it so much that one of those wheels came loose that's what happened to me so your next step right is to get under there and tighten the wheels however it's not a very simple to do with it put together. In fact, I think it's pretty much impossible. So you're gonna have to get in there, take the bed out, like the track, tighten the wheel, put it back in, put everything back together. So the way that happens, is at the back right there, there's a bracket. <laughs> under here, under this lip, I would take it apart for you, but I just got done tuning it. I'm not that dedicated right now. There's two screws right here and right here. Those screw out, this thing pulls off. It takes a little bit of force and you won't be able to get it exactly flush next time you put it back on, at least I wasn't, but I can get the screws back in and it's not a structural part. It's just kind of like a cover. You could even leave it off if you wanted. Then you're gonna have to undo these belts pretty much all the way. Um, you're gonna have to eventually have to take them off the bracket. So reach back in there, untension the belts until this actually pops off and you're left with the screw in your hand. You're gonna need that later. Just do that to both the belts now. Then after that, you're gonna to wanna to undo these four screws, leave these two on, pull the bed off, and then just plop it back there, right with the wire still attached. I would love to detach the wire, but you kinda of can't. Even if you undo these screws, this is just like a, a sleeve, and there's still wires attached to the board under there. There's not really a good way to get it off. You just put it to the side, and then you're left with this bare bracket. Now, in the bare bracket, you'll see, let's see if I can get you, see those two little brass tabs right there? That's the belt. You'll have two on each side. And you'll have to pop those out when the belt is untensioned all the way. And then you'll be able to slide the bracket over top of your detached bed wire and out the back of this plate here. That'll let you get at the wheels. And then you tighten the wheels with an Allen wrench and using the M8 nuts on the top of the bracket, Make sure everything's kind of uh, a quarter turn pass tight. Put it all back together. Make sure those nut notches we were talking about earlier face the same way. And I'm a really bad videographer. Uh, let's see here. Those nut notches right there. Make those sure those uh, face the same direction. Mine ended up being like about here was good. I would just start with them facing this way. And then you can kind of fine tune it. I only needed to turn it like maybe a quarter turn total to get it right. And then the auto bed leveling should be able to take it over from there and do a good job. And then you put it all back together in the reverse order that you had taking it apart. Again, I do I do a video about taking it apart, but I am just got done like actually getting it to work. And at that point, you should have a pretty good level bed. And you should be able to run auto bed leveling and it work out.